Hey everyone, I'm back in Stardew Valley here for another one of my Let's Play series. In the last one, I was doing a bit of this uh, about bait and my rod, and so I had to look it up, and the answer is, my rod is too rubbish, so the training rod can't support it, neither can the bamboo pole, uh, but if you upgrade it to a better rod, some of them have a bait option, and that's what you can use the bait for. Very useful game for not telling me that, thank you so much, that is more than useless. So we'll chuck some of this stuff in here. You can see I've got the backpack, which is good. I may as well chuck the bait in there. Bake, bait, and uh, that. So we're all good there. So we can still fish, of course, but we are still uh, feeling a little bit poor with this. I'm just gonna check I have done something. Yeah, I have, that's good. Um, and let's see what's in the mail today. Hello? Oh dear neighbor, I hope you are feeling settled in your new home. I am writing to let you know the PS Store is now selling fertilizers. So I don't swing by and see if you can afford a few dozen boxes or so. Pierre. Pierre, have I not bought enough from you, my friend? Robin here. I know there's a lot of stones scattered around your farm. If you have a surplus, you might consider having me build a well for you. Wells can be placed all over your farm and serve as convenient places to fill your watering can. Just swing by my shop with 75 stones and 1,000 G when you're ready for it. 1,000 G for a well? My goodness. Uh, what more post? Dear Farmer GM, I'd like to apologize for joking about your grandpa's old cottage when we first met. It's really a nice little house. However, you might need some more space someday. That's where I can help. If you bring me some raw materials and pay a fee, I can expand your house. Ooh. The first expansion includes a kitchen. With a kitchen, you'll be able to cook any recipes you've learned. Anyway, I hope you're starting to feel at home in Stardew Valley. Your local carpenter, Robin. I don't know why I said that in like, uh, almost like the wizard's voice, but it's Robin. I can't remember what Robin's voice is like. Never mind. Right, Robin, so you basically want all of me money, you thieving lovely lady. <laughs> right, so let's have a little look what's in my box here. So I've got a geode. No, no, that's all right, that's all right. So let's move my water. Ah, let's move the watering can to the top bar and the geode to the top bar. We will go and see what that is in a bit. But we should water our goodies here. That looks like we might have something ready to uh, the, the pick in the middle there. I can't even remember what we planted. I think it was cauliflower I was thinking about it. So we will see. These are our potatoes, which we planted in the last episode. So they are going to take a while to uh, mature. What is this little puny one? Oh no, they're not quite ready. So we know whether they're ready if we water and they're picked instead of being watered. That's when we know all is good. But yeah, these are still a way off. But that's all right. When they are done, we will be rich. What about these? Mm. No, I don't even know what that is. It's big. Oh. Water. Maybe we should build a well. Robin could be onto something there. Then I would have to walk three, three yards less. It's quite a nice noise though, isn't it, the watering can? What does it make you need to go to the little room? The little boys and little girls room. No? You're all right, that's good. Nothing worse than when you're watching something and you go, I need a weed. <laughs> right, there we go. It's our mighty sort of set of crops done. I think we've watered them all, that's beautiful. So this area is looking quite clear, quite pleased with that. I suppose we could get more wood. I mean, stone seems to be the thing, doesn't it? Stone, stone, and more stone. Hey, Yogi, how are you? Uh, I'm still worried that I have to feed my dog, but I, I can't see any way to feed the dog. So hopefully dog is all right. There's a lot of stone down here. This is where we're going. Um, I did find out in the last episode that to get these big stones, we're going to have to upgrade the pickaxe. And that is going to cost me about 10 billion squillion. I think it's about 2000 G to upgrade to a copper pickaxe. So that would solve that issue. But I also need lots of stone to uh, hopefully find some ore at some point. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, that would be awesome. <laughs> I've said that joke before and it wasn't funny then either. Um, it's a bit cold. 
I don't know whether it's just random when you get the um, the ore. I don't know. Bloop, bloop. I also don't know whether the sort of stone varies, you know, like what you get out of it if you're further away from your farm, or is it exactly the same? The chances of getting something good. I don't really know. Uh, well, I have a lot of stone and still no flaming ore, which is quite annoying because that's what I want. Give me some ore. I've got lots of coal. I forgot what my objective was in this this one. I just seem to have gone off on one without even telling you what I'm doing. Um, I was thinking of clearing a bit of the farm. I've got another geode there. And I was after some ore so we could do a one of the objectives, which is to create, I can't even remember what it was. Was it a furnace or something? Let's have a look. Not that, oh, something here. Um, oh, a sign would be useful at some point. Wood, field, blah, blah, blah. What the heck was it? A furnace, yeah, so I need 20 copper ore. And after all that stuff, I've got nothing. No ore at all, which is not very good, is it? And I thought you'd get it from stone, but I've just hit a lot of stone and got nothing. So I don't know whether we've got to be looking in specific places for copper ore. Like, it, does different stone give us different drops? Like, there's two different types of stone here. Let's try cracking that one. That gives me stone. Brilliant. This one also gives me stone. Also brilliant. But that appears to be all I can mine, and all I'm getting is the occasional bit of coal. No, no ore at all from hitting all of that stone. So I mean, that seems to be a big ask to make a furnace uh, when I'm not getting any ore drop at all. Am I doing something wrong? I do know. This is very dark area in here where I can't see anything and I can't hit anything. I don't know. So, you know, should I be somewhere else to find ore? Do I have to buy ore to begin with? Because like, if we look at the old thing here, forging ahead, if you're gonna keep mining, you should build a furnace, craft a furnace. Uh, we've got this, reach farming level one, craft a scarecrow. Uh, maybe we should look at that. That might be possible now, let's have a little look. Scarecrow, what do we need? Wood, coal, and fiber. Now, that is quite possible. Let's have a little look. How much wood have I got? Loads of wood. Uh, we've got coal and fiber we've got loads of as well. Let's take that. Is that enough? Might be. Uh, oh. Yes. Yeah. I have a scarecrow. Where should we put it to terrify everything? Look at that. Let's put it there. Brilliant. Uh, so if we look at the journal now, we've done that and we get 100G for it. All right. But the fire, the little love furnace, that's a different, different kettle of fish. I'm not sure we can afford ore, but I have a geode anyway. So let's go and see the blacksmith and see what they can tell us about stuff. I can probably buy ore there, but is ore too much? Is it way too many pennies for me? Most likely that is the case, because uh, I'm skint and everything is a fortune. Hello, that's Leia, I've seen her before. Who's there? Have I seen you? Alex, yes, I have seen you. There's a couple of people I haven't met, but I don't know who. Ah, since you've been spending some time in the old community center, it's good to know someone's taking care of the place. Oh, he sounds a little bit like the wizard from the previous episode. Mom won't let me have any more gummies. I don't blame her, you little crackers. What, giggle? Hi, who's this one? Are you the one to talk to me, Penny. Okay, 
Have fun. I'm gonna remember that's Elliot down there, not a lady. Sam, good to see you again. Who have I not met then? Because there's some that I have not met. And how much is all gonna cost me? Let's have a little look. Ah, oh, man. I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow. Rubbish. Doesn't time fly when you're having fun? Let's fish off the bridge. No point going to see Flaming Willy, he'll be gone as well. Whoops. I like the idea of fishing off of a bridge though. That seems a good plan. Come on. You know you want to be caught, fishy. Just a little fishy. I won't put you on a little dishy. I promise. Ah, I gotcha. Mm -mm -mm. Uh oh, it's a complicated fishy. Oh, there's a treasure. Yes. Oh, okay, so you can claim the treasure and the fishy if you're smart. I'm getting better at this because that's quite a complicated fishy. I know it's going to be a flaming one inch sardine or something ridiculous. Oh, a small mouth bass. That's rather nice. And what did I get? An ancient doll. I can donate to the museum. That was good. Why, 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 why? What's the matter? Where's they gone? Where did my doll go? Yeah, that's all right. We're good, we're good. Should we fishy one more time? Maybe, well, let's launch it this way. <clears throat> I was too slow there. I was mid about to go <clears throat> like that, because I'm still getting over a cold. And um, yeah, I missed the old catch of the fish there, didn't I? That'll teach me. Do, 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 do. Sorry, you don't want to hear that, do you? Well, maybe you do. Who knows? Oh, see, I nearly got distracted again. I must concentrate when I'm fishing. You want to see what fish I catch, don't you? I can't wait. This is very exciting. Yes, he's getting better at fishing. <gasps> that is a new fishy for me, a bream 18 incher. Well, I tell you what, it's seven o'clock though, we better go home. Um, let's, oh, I don't want to go through the graveyard. That makes me feel a little bit sad. Uh, we'll go this way. Oh, Pierre, how are you, my friend? I have nothing for you, Pierre. Hopefully tomorrow, eh? We go this way, back home. I'm out of energy. Probably because I have not eaten in two days, Pierre. <laughs> Maybe I'll give our poor little friend something to eat while we come home. All right, doggy. Uh, let's have a little look here. Uh, I need something to chew on, please. What can I eat? Yes, a leek. A leek for my food. How do I get to... Uh, can I not see the second part of my... It doesn't look like I can. Let's put the leek there then. And that there. And chew on a leek. Yes, eat a leek. That's better. Right, we'll go to bed. Carry on in the morning. Go to sleep for the night. Yes, we did absolutely jack diddly in terms of earning money. Apart from we watered some crops. I have gone to sleep with a leak on my head. That is a very interesting look. Uh, so another day, let's earn some money. Show me the money. It's Wednesday though. Who is it who closes on a Wednesday? I think it might be Willie. Or well, it might be Pierre. I don't know. I'm like an our scarecrow though. That's pretty cool. So we have the headache of getting all, but Today we should be able to go to the blacksmith. I will remember to do that because I have a habit of telling you one thing, completely forgetting and going off and doing something entirely different, which I suppose keeps things creative and interesting, sort of. Um, but, you know, if I don't actually do anything apart from water this, then it's gonna be a bit boring, isn't it? So we'll have a little look. I didn't even check my post box this morning. Hopefully no post today because what is this? Is this ready? To... Oh, we've got to cut it with a scythe. Yes, 
Ah, oh, it's kale. That's what we grew. Nice. That is that one needing watering? No, that one. That one looks good as well. No, it's not. All right, we'll leave you watering. What about you? I think we need some more stuff. Uh, we'll go and water these. I think they were just parsnips, weren't they? So hopefully we can now afford to get some more stuff. What I'm not sure on, there was a sort of note saying if you plant stuff before the season ends and then the season changes, you'll lose everything. But that could be really painful, so I need to keep an eye on that, but I have no idea how. I suppose this could be, I don't know, how do we know? I was going to say it's that, that slide up the top, but I don't think that is. That's just the day, the time. I don't know. Let's see whether kale was worth growing, though. Took me long enough to grow it. Yeah? yeah, my friend, you are closed. So I'm still skin. Surely Willy is open. Oh, no, we were going to go to the... You've got the memory of a sieve. I was going to go and see the blacksmith, I think, because I've got a geode. And the blacksmith was closed when I went there yesterday. Who are you? Penny. Oh, we've, we've seen you before, Penny. That's fine. Right, what's in the geode? Hello? I've forgotten your name, mate. Uh, process geodes for me, please. Three of them I've got. Go on in. Nice. Nikoits? What is that? A dwarvish helm? An earth crystal. Nice. Thank you, my friend. So we could go give all of that to the museum. I'm still a bit bemused as to whether it's worth giving stuff to the museum. I mean, it's great for everyone, but I don't seem to be getting anything out of it. Maybe it's just being nice. I've got this scabby doll. Do you want that? Uh, I feel like the doll is so bad. I'm going to put it there. Uh, let's put this here. And this. Here. Ooh, I got a, re a reward. I mean, his museum. Why would you have a massive museum with nothing in it until I came along? Uh, give me a reward then. I get nine cauliflower seeds. That's actually quite good. Thank you. Let's have a little look at these things. So this, earth crystal, a resinous substance found near the surface. Hmm. Dried starfish. Oh no, we know, we know about that. It's these two I want to know about. Nikoites, Nikoites, or something. The delicate shards form a tiny pink meadow. Dwarvish helm, it's one of the helmets commonly worn by dwarves. The thick metal plating protects them from falling debris and stalactites. Nice. Ancient doll, an ancient doll covered in grime. This doll may have been used as a toy, a decoration, or a prop in some kind of ritual. There you go, that's all the stuff, all the treasures we have discovered on our journey. Do you like that? Who are you? Vincent. I want to look for bugs, but mum gets mad when I'm all dirty. It's a tough choice. What about this? Who's this? Oh, there's Penny again. Penny, you look really small. I don't know why. You look like a little kid. But I think you've grown up. To be fair, my guy doesn't look that old, does he? Um, we've talked to you before. 10.50 a.m. We could do a bit more whapping of stones. I am quite interested in just seeing what Willie has got in the shop because I want to know how much the better pole is. Ooh, look. Is it that one? No, that one. I've got a book. Go back to the library again. The stuff I find on the beach. I'm like the luckiest dude on the beach ever. Go the wrong way. I could sell this massive fish to Willie. They're going to give me three million billion for it. That would be nice. Willie, my friend. 
How much is a decent rod? 1800 G for one that I can put bait on. You thieving pest. What about the, uh, so 56 and 62. Yeah, just, Fever me, Willie. So, oh man, that's so much. I can't even sell you my other poles. Cheeky. Cheeky, Willie. Uh, 436, so my best chance of making some Wonga, I suppose, is we'll, we'll do a, a quick fish. It's not gonna earn me that much, is it? A 50, if I'm quick. But it sounds like fishing gets easier when I can use bait. But then, the bait's gonna cost you 5G every time you use it but you're gonna get your fish quicker. A hit. Uh-oh. This is a tough fish. Yeah, you're gonna get caught, fishy. Yes. A 14 inch anchovy. That is a serious anchovy. That should be worth four billion pounds. Willie, I've caught a 14 inch anchovy, my friend. How much will you give me for it? 45? That is disgraceful, Willie. A 14 inch anchovy and you're gonna be 45G. Man, no wonder you're rich and I'm not. Seagulls. Yeah, I bet you'd like a fish, wouldn't you? Right, um, 12.50 p.m. And what we need to do is go back home, I think. And ponder life in general because we've got some stuff but not enough actually we could plant these plants because that's going to net us more money isn't it and that is a good plan i forgot what the wizard told us to do in the community center as well because we saw the wizards and he said something but well, what did he say i can't remember never mind it's more relaxing to farm and plant some stuff so we could make use of this area let's do that uh hello let's use the right tool just tidy this up a little bit and let's plant what have we got cauliflower seeds is that the only thing I've, oh yeah because i couldn't sell stuff to pierre because he wasn't there but i could just chuck it in there in the sale box in a minute and then at least that's done for tomorrow but we'll plant these bad boys there we go and water those oops <laughs> i'm still not very sharp at watering am i i go so far as to say i'm a bit rubbish at it there we go Right, so that's all that done. Is that all the plants I've got? I think it is. I don't think I've got anything else I can plant. Uh, so if we chuck stuff in here, let's chuck the kale in there and this kale. Uh, I think I want to keep my other stuff, thank you very much. But some money tomorrow would be good. Uh, let's have a little look in here. Have we got any plants to plant? It doesn't. Well, we've got a couple of mixed seeds, which could be anything. We want to plant them or not maybe we will let's plant them why not we got space let's chuck them let's chuck them in the middle there there are like surprise plants and yes i know i've made a mess there but i don't know how we, whether you can even undo where you've accidentally sort of hoed i'm not sure but I've still got no ore. And I totally forgot. Oh, have we got time to go there again? I forgot to check with the blacksmith whether we can buy ore. Let's go and do that. I know that's a bit of a of a walk again. Sorry. This is what I'm like, you know? I forget. I forget things. I'm sorry. But at least we can hear a little GM walking along into town on the different things. So he makes a nice noise there. Need to think how we can get the dog some money because nobody's ever ill. Oh, rabbit. There's the mare. Where was the way? Is it this way? Could do with Bando. This is the way.
Right, was it here? Oh, and I've got to give it the heart. Do you know, I'm a flaming muppet. That's what we had at the first point, wasn't it? I tell you, memory of a sieve. Never mind, we can place the book here. This is the book by Marnie. There's a book missing here. Okay, I've got a book for you, Chief. What? Didn't I? Oh, maybe I gave it in already. <laughs> Did I do like the world's most pointless walk into town? Sorry. Never mind. Let's catch another fish. Plop. Pay attention to the thing in the water. I can't remember what it's called. It's a, look, I'm just going downhill all the time with this piece of quality recording that I'm doing. I'm sorry. Hooray! Catch that fishy! Oh, this one's a hard fish. So, I've walked all the way into town, I've attempted to catch a fish, failed miserably, and um, it's 5.50pm. It's not good, is it? I will... Oh, now I've caught you some algae. Let's try up here. I've maxed it out with the cast. And we can look at GM's a little back. I got your back, GM. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It wasn't even funny, man! Come on. That's almost a fish. Yes! Give me a fish! A bream 14 inches? Not bad. I can't set it to Willy because Willy has gone home. Maybe GM should eat that because GM has had a tough, tough day. There is a daffodil. Don't eat the daffodil. We'll give that to someone. Who are you? Alex. I keep saying that whenever I see Alex. Oh. I'd ask you to throw the ball around, but you don't really seem like the sports type. type. I'm fine. I want to play catch. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, go on then. A quick game. Really? I guess I underestimated you. My arm's a little sore, but maybe next time. What? I was all getting ready there for a bit of exciting catch. I thought there was something new that we were going to see and share and delight with Alex. Play catch with the ball. And it was ruined. It was just whew, taken away from us. Never mind. Never mind. Right, so we're back home at the farm. Everything is watered. The watering can is empty. I could get that ready for tomorrow. We could eat something. What should we eat? Should we eat a little fishy? Yes, eat the bream, my friend. You look hungry. Good job. Uh, what's in our treasure chest? We've got a few bits. So I've got another daffodil, so we could start giving these to people later. Um, that all looks good to me. Uh, I'm going to call that a night there, my friends. So we're at the 30 minute mark or thereabouts. So let's just see what happens. I don't think we've really got anything we can sell. Oh no, we did have the kale, didn't we? So we'll just see what happens there. So in the bed we go. Go to sleep for the night and let's see whether that was worth some good money. Day 17 of spring year one. 935G from those. Nice. So we start the next day with some good money. All is good, my friends. Happy days. So we will continue with the next one on the next Let's Play. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this, drop a comment, will you? And let other people know about it. Hit that subscribe. Thanks so much.